Now here we are on Windows Server 2019 for installing PRTG network monitoring tool. Here you can see I already installed Windows Server 2019 data center version and you can install it on a standard edition. Here we have free to download, you can download it and you have unlimited version of PRTG for 30 days. That's great for practicing this course with the trial version and we have 30 days that we can practice the whole course with this 30 days unlimited version of PRTG. And after 13 days, it reverts to a free version. That's great. And here in product, download PRTG or you can click on free download to download PRTG. So that's great. So it will point you to your license name and the license key. This is the trial for 30 days accessing PRTG on your lab or your production environment. And we'll click on download PRTG. So we will wait for finish downloading PRTG software. So when we finish download PRTG software, we'll go to download, download folder. We'll select the language. You can select whatever language that you want. And here we'll accept the terms agreement and next. And here's we need the email address for installing PRTG. You can add a group of emails here for receiving notification. Next. Actually, it's contact Presseler license server to check the free license that is available or not. And as you can see, it checked the license and it's continue to install the software. It takes about less than five minutes to install PRTG with embedded SQL server that you can easily install it on your production environment. Now, as you can see, we finish installing PRTG. Let's block sending notification for the first time. And this guy will tell you how you can change the password or accessing SSL encryption for PRTG monitoring tool. And the first time PRTG added the sensor for probe device, which is PRTG server. And it will scan your subnet here and discover those servers. And it will add at least ping sensor to discover availability for that servers or whatever devices. That's great. So after done in installation, we should fix these two notifications. Set a secure password. We'll click on change default password. Of course, you can go to setup and in your account and my account and change the password. That's great. And here we'll specify new password. The old password which is going to be the same with username so we'll change the password and confirm it let's close this part to see the safe bottom here and again we can enable SSL encryption for the PRTG website here and here we'll hit save that's great the password has been changed So as you can see, we have the latest version, which is 19.4.53. This is the latest version that you can install. We'll click on install to download the latest version. It takes time actually to download the latest version. And if you want to use PRTG on internet, I strongly recommend you that you use SSL certificate for accessing this PRTG monitoring tool from the internet. So we'll go to setup and system administrator user interface. We'll scroll down to web server and here we'll select secure HTTPS server recommended mandatory for internet access and you can use the security method here, high security TLS or TLS version 1.2 or weekend security. The default one is going to be a good option. And here it tells you you will be disconnected for a few minutes. We'll click on OK. So as you can see, we can access our PRTG server by HTTPS, which is 
security socket layer. We'll click on advanced and, and process to the unsafe version. And now you can use your SSL certificate to install it on your PRTG server to actually security and accessing your PRTG server from the internet. So we will wait for PRTG server to initiate its uh, prop device here. So here we can see the sensor back again with HTTP access. And in today's lesson, we learned how we can install PRTG network monitoring tool. Thanks for watching.